Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex are about to experience their very first holiday season in America. The pair famously stepped down from their roles within the royal family earlier in 2020 to move to the United States, where they share a home with their son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Now with the holidays approaching, a report has emerged detailing how the pair allegedly plans on celebrating. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in the holiday spirit. In the months since their move to America, the Sussexes have been hunkered down in their cozy $14 million mansion in Santa Barbara, California. They have not made many public appearances due to the ongoing coronavirus COVID-19 crisis. However, they were reportedly seen out earlier in December while shopping for a Christmas tree. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are making new holiday traditions in 2020. Neither Prince Harry nor Meghan has directly commented on the 2020 holiday season or their plans for it. However, a source told LMT Channel in a report published on the 11th of December that they're thrilled about it. The source shared, Meghan and Harry are really looking forward to their first Christmas in their new home. It's a big change for Harry because he's used to a cold Christmas, but apparently he's quite looking forward to making new traditions. The insider mentioned that under normal circumstances, Prince Harry and Meghan would have gone overseas to be with the royal family. But with the coronavirus pandemic raging on, they allegedly decided to play it safe and stay home. The source continued, if things were different, they would have traveled back to the UK to spend time with his family and friends, but it's just not in the cards this year so they're going to make do with video chats, just like lots of other families will. However, one family member will reportedly be with them during the holidays. Even though they won't be able to see their family and friends overseas, there's still a lot to be excited about. The source added, One silver lining is that they can both totally relax and focus on enjoying Christmas with Archie. He's very tuned in now, very aware. So they will really get to see him enjoy Christmas this year. And Meghan's mom will be with them. She's in their bubble and having her around is a godsend. That's definitely a bright point, if you ask us. With that, here's wishing all of them a very happy holiday season. Another analysis. Spotify have announced an exclusive partnership with Archwell Audio, a new audio production company founded by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Their first episode, a holiday special featuring inspirational stories, will go live this month. Archwell Audio will feature programs aiming to uplift and entertain global audiences and be hosted and produced by Meghan and Harry themselves. CCO of Spotify, Don Ostroff, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex may live, in California, but the power of their voices rests in their status as citizens of the world. That they are embracing the extraordinary capacity of podcasts on Spotify while also seeking to elevate underrepresented voices is a testament to their appreciation for the potential of audio storytelling. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex said in a joint statement, what we love about podcasting is that it reminds all of us to take a moment and to really listen, to connect to one another without distraction. With the challenges of 2020, there has never been a more important time to do so. Because when we hear each other and hear each other's stories, we are reminded of how interconnected we all are. Inside Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's new deal with Spotify. Hi guys, I'm Harry. And I'm Meghan. One of the things my husband and I have always talked about is our passion for meeting people and hearing their stories. And no matter what the story, they usually offer you an understanding of where someone else is coming from. And at the same time, remind you in some way of a story about yourself. And that's what this project is all about, to bring forward different perspectives and voices that perhaps you haven't heard before and find our common ground. Because when that happens, change really is possible. And you know, this is also a moment to celebrate kindness and compassion, something we saw in so many places this year and which will underlie everything you hear from Archwell Audio. So that's what we're up to. And first up is a holiday special. We can't wait to share it with you. It'll be out later this month. We're talking to some amazing people. They're going to share their memories that have really helped shape this past year, which has been, as we know, a difficult one for everyone. So many people have been through so much pain this year, experiencing loss, a huge amount of uncertainty. 
but it feels worth acknowledging that 2020 has connected us in ways we could have never imagined through endless acts of compassion and kindness. And what really matters is clearer now more than ever. So here's what you need to do. Tap follow right now. Go ahead. Go on. Tap follow. And that way you won't miss out. You'll be able to hear new shows from Archwell Audio as soon as they drop. We're so excited. So follow and listen for free only on Spotify. We'll meet you back here soon. Happy holidays. Cheers. And welcome to Archwell Audio. Now he has a podcast voice. Think back to January of 2020 when Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, announced that they were stepping back from their roles in the British monarchy. At that time, many could barely believe what they were hearing. But the couple did in fact stop using their royal titles in April. Part of their initial statement included their goals to become financially independent of the crown. The pair's latest deals with Netflix and Spotify are likely the streams of income that they had in mind. The former royals have signed an exclusive podcast deal with the streaming service. The podcast will be produced by their company, Archwell Audio, over the course of the multi-year contract starting with a holiday special that's jointly produced with Spotify's Gimlet Studio. The Duke and Duchess full series will likely come out next year. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle recently signed a deal with Netflix, too. On top of adding podcast producers to their resume, the couple also locked in a deal with Netflix three months ago. The Duke and Duchess have created a yet-to-be-named production company with the streaming service. Their partnership will include docu-series, documentaries, children's programming, feature films, and scripted shows exclusively with Netflix. The pair explained their motives in a statement, saying, Our focus will be on creating content that informs, but also gives hope. As new parents, making inspirational family programming is also important to us. Following ruffled feathers from Netflix's hit series, The Crown, the ex-royals likely raised eyebrows within the establishment from which the show gets its name. Nonetheless, the star power behind the streaming services offerings combined with its 193 million subscribers worldwide proved to be too good of an opportunity to pass up. Their payment details remain unclear, but their recent Montecito mansion purchase speaks to their level of comfort. Following the Netflix deal, many speculated about a possible Spotify partnership, speculation that has since come to fruition. Only time will tell what tech giant the former royals will work with next. Another report. Prince William and Kate Middleton's massive home pails in comparison to Harry and Meghan's 16-bathroom mansion. It's no surprise that royals live in luxurious homes most people could only dream of stepping foot in. However, even among the huge mansions that royals occupy, some will have to be smaller than others. In the case of Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, the couple's massive house might actually pale in comparison to what Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex have. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's California home has nine bedrooms, and 16 bathrooms. Harry and Meghan moved to Southern California earlier this year, after stepping down as senior royals. The couple subsequently bought a home in Montecito, California, for $14.7 million. The house has 19,000 square feet to accommodate Harry, Meghan, and their son Archie. It comes with nine bedrooms, 16 bathrooms, a gym, an arcade, a theater, and an elevator. Outside of the main house, there is also a guest house, a swimming pool, and a tennis court. Prince William and Kate Middleton's London home has just 20 rooms. William and Kate's home is Apartment 1A at Kensington Palace. The word apartment might make some people think the Cambridges live in a small place with just a few bedrooms. However, William and Kate's home is actually a massive compound. Unlike Harry and Meghan's house, Apartment 1A has never been on the market. As such, the details of its interior are not well known. However, it has four floors and 20 rooms, which means it is not probably not as big as Harry and Meghan's 27-room home. A source said, The Cambridges have five reception rooms, three main bedrooms with ensuite bathrooms, as well as his and hers dressing rooms. Of course the family has lots of staff at their beck and call, and there are nine bedrooms for employees on the top floor which can be reached by a lift. Additionally, there is a gym and lots of outdoor spaces for the Cambridge children to play in. The Cambridges also have a country house. While the Cambridges house might be slightly smaller than the Sussexes, they can make up for it with a country house. William and Kate have a country residence in the Norfolk region of England called Amher Hall. The family often stays at Amher Hall at various times throughout the year and most notably, they self-isolated there during the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic for several months. 
The house has 10 bedrooms, a swimming pool, and a tennis court. Like other royal residences, not many details is known about Amher Hall because it has never been listed on the market. However, here is also reportedly a farm there where the family raises animals. In fact, Prince William once shared that he and his children spent some time lambing while staying at Amher Hall. It is not clear if the lambs belong to the Cambridges or not, but the house allows them to enjoy a rustic lifestyle that they cannot always get at Kensington Palace. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.